Hi, this is Bill from e and I'd like to talk today about the Festo Simplified Motion Series. And this is actually a uh, series of electric cylinders and actuators that we can actually use uh, instead of pneumatic valves and cylinders and plumbing and compressors and all that kind of stuff. Um, it does have some advantages, including we can position the uh, cylinders anywhere along their full stroke. And we have an electrical interface, so they're actually 24 volt DC powered, and they have an extend and a retract signal at 24 volts, and they also have uh, feedback signals for extended and retracted. There's also IO link as a possibility, which we can actually use to um, programmatically control the positioning of the cylinder through a PLC and an HMI and so forth. A couple of applications that um, we can use the electric cylinder for. This is a, uh, basically an extend and retract, which would be typically just a uh, standard pneumatic type of an application. We also have, uh, this is a high speed motion and then press function where we're actually pressing one part into another one, which uh, would be a little more difficult with a, a pneumatic cylinder. Here we actually have a conveyor diverter, which is using a uh, standard um, electric cylinder. But think about this also that we can actually, since we can have multiple positions here, and here we're showing a rotary actuator version of the uh, SMS, uh, where we could actually use this to position in multiple places and actually ha also have a reject position. Another application, um, might be where we would actually have a combination of cylinders where we're actually using a linear slide cylinder to move between two conveyor systems here. And then we'll see here in a moment that we actually pick this up where it's going to um, use a combination of a rotary actuator and a extension uh, electric cylinder. So where these actually come into play is if we have applications that are going to have multiple different positioning requirements. So if we have a recipe function or something, if we had a conveyor that had multiple products coming down it and we wanted to change the configuration without actually having to go out to the uh, individual devices and change stops and flow controls and all that kind of stuff. Um, electric cylinders make a lot of sense. We'll talk about this in a further presentation when we actually do um, some of the interfacing to PLCs. Once again, this is Bill Hintz from ENM.